Xin chào all my travel and foodie fanatics. We are here in Maui. So aside from all the amazing sightseeing in Maui, the one thing that I look forward to most in Maui is their exotic fruits. So today I'm taking you guys to an organic exotic fruit farm. Okay, going through some rough turns here for uh, Ono Farms. Kind of hidden in here. Hopefully uh, I'm on the right street. Wow, okay. So we just parked our car on the side here. All right, so this is Nick, guys. He's gonna to take us on a tour on Ono Farms right now. Awesome. So how long have you been on the island so far? Uh, we got here Monday. Oh, nice. Uh, a good amount of time. Yeah. When's the best time to go for all the fruits? Kind of right now because it's right mango now. season. It's mango season right yeah. now? I'd say, uh, yeah, it's actually normally June and July and August, but it actually started in August. Yeah, so the whole so cool. uh, farm is all family. So everybody that lives here, there's a member of the family or an employee. Okay. So I'm actually one of the only two employees that's not family. Oh, wow. Ooh! Durian. Yeah, they I can dry. smell it. <laughs> These ones are a little bit immature, so we're not going to eat them until Monday. Oh, fresh durian. In the States. I can smell them. Yeah, they're really good. How long does it uh, take to ripen up? Uh, they actually fall off the tree when they are ripe. Okay. So these ones fall off? It's already... Uh, so if they fell off properly they wouldn't look like this they right. have a clean break right okay. there that's the like tree, the wind huh yeah the tree knows like oh you're ready i'm gonna drop yeah them. so Aww. they drop them right here and these have all that's how we can yeah. tell none of them are ready Aww. but then on the bottom they actually will start to split yeah this one is actually oh, that oh yeah so that actually small just one. happened today in the heat Ooh. So, yeah maybe we'll okay. actually open that one up okay. does it stink yet it smells like it kind of. Do you guys want they're to try splitting it? Yeah, fresh. Wow. Wow. This is small, but it's ripe, huh? Yeah, it's small. A baby. Pick if it's on pretty it. firm, it's probably not going to taste very oh, good. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's firm. It's usually really uh, shitty. It's not ready yeah, yet. Yeah, just by the smell of it, it's like, mm -mm, nope, it doesn't stink. So. But, hey, it's hard. It shot, so. <laughs> Still. And we're going to go see these trees. Like, they are absolutely loaded right now. So. Oh, yeah. good season. Nice. So our farm actually borders the national park. Oh, wow. Oh, you got your name. Oh, no. Yeah, so this is what actually is all part? bananas right here. Oh, wow. It's about the size of about three, four football fields. That's about how big it is. Wow. Um, and then everything that's cultivated is below this. Wow. So like, we look over here at this one. This is looking at the ocean view of it. Okay. So, like, we're standing in this roof right here. Oh, wow. And then we're going to work our way and go all the way up, 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 up. And then we'll go down, 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 down through everything and see it all. Okay. Yeah. So um, the farm, like I said earlier, is uh, 60 acres of cultivated, 300 in total. And we border the national park on this side. The whole farm is off the grid. All of our power comes from solar. All of our water comes from um, a freshwater spring up the mountain there. Mm -hmm. it fills our water tanks that fill the farm. So, wow. Yeah. We're right in the middle of avocado season. Oh, wow. And you'll see a lot of our trees. Wow, oh, they're so huge. Yeah, they're absolutely they are huge. They're the same ones we had boxed up in the shed wow. down there. This one is known as the Borner Avo. Borner Avocados. These are cherries? These are cherries. Yeah, so this oh one gosh. is called a Surinam cherry. Oh. So feel free to dig in. Um, you want to go cool. for the darkest red one would be the best. Are these cherry And there's Vietnam? a seed in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually um, Southeast Sim Asia. So similar. The one in Vietnam only have, you see how they have like a lot of, what do you call that? Like ridges? Creases, yeah. ridges. Like Vietnam, there's only like four. Yeah. Yeah. I love these ones because they kind of have a peppery aftertaste. Oh, no. yeah. These ones are the super sweet ones, which mm -hmm. is also in the Thank same you. family. Wow. I mean, that's what, this is similar to what we oh, have. Oh, these are a little bit more firm. Mm. These one ones are the really sweet. Vitamin C fruit on the farm actually is the acerola cherry. Mm. It's something like 112% of your daily vitamin and a, like I think 12 pieces of fruit. Ah. We're gonna come back for this guy. Oh, mellow! Okay, Huge! Right. <laughs> These are nice, easy, they're on the ground. Yeah. This one dropped for us, so. Citrus nice. Maximus, this is where all citrus derived from. 
Yeah, this one is the sweet sop, or I think it's also sweet sop. the sugar apple. Sugar apple or, or, or green. The green one? Or sugar green apple? And the red. Yeah, but I think they're both in the sugar apple family. So oh, this is where I feel like when they're in. ripe, they're super soft. Wow. So I'll actually let you guys open this too. Yeah. We are familiar with this. Come on, faster. Oops. Mmm. Wow. This looks awesome. Wow. Golden. Are these there's golden pomelo or something? Three colors. The white and orange. If they're all Tahitian pink. pomelo, there's a yellow, a white, and a pink. The yellow and the white are the sweetest that we think. They mm. almost taste like candy, like Starburst or Ooh. Skittles. Sorry, you guys are which, working on that. Together. Which one should we eat first? That one's a little more sour. This is more sweet. I would go with that one. This one first? Sure, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we love this. Mmm, dude. It's man. So good. Can we have so good. So good. Yeah, I love them. You know, these star fruit, we usually make, um, what is it, hot and sour soup in Vietnam? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we grow a fruit cool. here called Belimbi. Mm -hmm. It is uh, from the Philippines, and it's actually like star fruit's ugly cousin. It's very round and looks uh. like a pickle. But it's really <laughs> sour, and you mix uh, the Belimbi with tamarind to make a sweet and sour soup too. Oh, wow. In the Philippines, so. Yeah. And um, we're going to pick that fruit on the tour too. This is actually sweet. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Good. Yes. Because all the star fruit that I've eaten is like sour. These, <laughs> the more yellow you get, the more sweet it should be. Like these ones are even still a little underripe. They could get a lot more golden on the tree. Mm. Yeah. This can get, this can get more um, sweet for sure. Yeah, there's, there's barely any seeds. There's no seeds. Well, you didn't see actually, but the, one of the pieces I cut out and threw had most of the seeds right in the Oh, middle. okay. I've seen some people that have dipped them in sugar too before, salt. Yeah, salt and chili, that's what we did with them. What is this called again? Sweet? Sweet Jamaican Lily Koi. Sweet Jamaican Lily Koi. The cousin of the passion fruit. Yeah, same family as passion fruit. Is it sour then? There it is. Do you guys know how to eat this one? Pop it open, I guess. Yeah, do you want me to cut it for you or you want to bite into it? Oh. Uh, can you eat the outside? Oh, uh, you can't eat the outside, but what you want to do is like, um, bite a hole in it. Think of it like nature's smoothie. Bite a hole, yeah. and squeeze it in your mouth, drink okay. the juice, eat the seeds, power through the crunch. I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Smoothie. <laughs> Shoot the spat on me. <laughs> I kind of um, <laughs> bit myself into it. Oh, shoot. Mmm. This is actually sweet, not like passion fruit. Yeah, it's like sour, dude. Exactly. So, um, this papaya field is only a little bit over a year old. Um, papayas only take about nine months to produce fruit. Oh, yeah. Every no, single one of these seeds is a papaya tree. Wow. Um, we do something about 56,000 pounds of papaya a year. How often does it fruit like uh, these one fruit, year? We pick them twice a week, every single week, year round. They're twice a week? This is literally the money tree right here. They call it baby fruit because you baby can fruit. actually um, get pregnant and then plant that seed and be feeding your baby that fruit. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, bananas and papayas are both baby fruit. Oh, wow. Um, so then another fun fact about papayas is they have sexes. There's three different Ooh. sexes of a papaya tree. There's a male, a female, and a hermaphrodite. Mm. The male only produces flowers. The hermaphrodite is a self-pollinator, and the female gets pollinated by the male and makes fruit. Wow. So. Complicated. Yeah, uh, everything oh, is God, interplanted. So Nothing is really in single rows like you've seen in commercial farms. Yeah. That's what That's permaculture right. and biodynamics is all about, yeah. is that having things intercropped, like the papayas, the avocados, the mangoes, 
so that when these avos fall on the ground, the papaya roots are going to suck up all that nutrients that the avos have. Same right. with the mango, same with the banana, so everything just kind of coexists together. So wow, okay. But and also, it's like, we had all 500 of our avocado trees in one field, and they got a disease, and they all started dying. Oh, wow. Every single one would die. By having them split up on the farm, they had better chances of survival. Wow. Very smart. So this one's actually called a Samoan coconut, and it will never get any taller than this. There we go. Is there a certain size or, or color that you should search for? Or uh, good coconut? It depends on your preference, really. Like, I like um, coconuts that are not super young. Uh. So I like them to have a developed mm -hmm. nut. Mm -hmm. A little bit sweeter that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel, feel free to ask me anytime if you guys want to try any. If you want me to take any. Is it good? <laughs> Getting full off of fruits. <sighs> Two chop. That's for you, not Two chop. There we go. You just let it drop here. There we go. The banana puts off a baby, which is known as a keiki in Hawaii. That's the Hawaiian word for baby. So every mother will produce her fruit. You take her fruit from her, you cut her down, say thank you for providing us with your food, and then her baby takes her place, and then- Just she'll... keep on going like that? Yeah, it's a member of the grass family and the herb family, so no matter what, they'll keep growing back over oh, wow. and over and over That's again. That's cool. This is another banana cakey right there. Mm. So this is what happens when it gets windy. Oh, okay, the whole branch falls off. Yeah. This, this is, is so heavy. For your photo shoot. That's you right, it? yeah. We'll that take this fun. down with us too. Cool. And we can break it off of there too if you want. Wow, this whole branch fell off. It's not supposed to be ripe yet. Green is known as the king of fruits because they can live up to 500 years old. Animals like the fruit bat that comes out at night or the moth that Hawaii has. Yes. Um, and that's the only way to pollinate it. We're going to go see seven of them right now. Okay. 13 durian tree. Mm -hmm. um, how many different varieties? Oh, I think it's between four and six. According to us and what we think, this is our best tree, best variety. This one? Yeah, it makes the biggest fruit, it drops perfectly, it's got the strongest branches. Something about it, this is the best one. You can see oh, how high yes. they are. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. That's a lot wow. of them. Yeah. So they also call it the king of fruits because if one were to land on our head right now, we'd be wearing a crown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in the hospital. <laughs> Oh my god! It's freaking huge! It's huge! There's a bird that ate it. Oh yeah. It'll still be good on the other side. I don't want to. There we go. Good angle. Oh! Oh yeah! The bird ate it first. That means good, right? That's the best fruit on the tree because the bird got it first. Wow, it's as big as my head. You can split yeah. it open if you want to. Just rip it open. Yeah, let's rip it open. Wow, Michael, yes. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> it's like cotton, big. dude. Crazy. Nice. Wow, it smells amazing. Right on the nasty nice. side. Here we go. Take that. I got this side. This was the bird side. Oh, you just throw it away like that? Oh, that's a waste. Come on. Just the bird like, side. We're like, we, oh. don't, we don't want bird flu. Oh, <laughs> shoot. How's it, babe? Just like how you think it should taste like. Yeah. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. And chewy. And chewy. And juicy. Juicy. Mmm. Man, this is so good. The heck, even in Vietnam, I've never had it like this, you know? Not like going into the farm and eating like this. Mm. Can mm -hmm. coffee beans? Yeah, totally. It's really high in antioxidants too to eat the red beans. Mm. Is this sweet? <laughs> Hold out your hand. Mm. I'll do mine first. 
So that's what you do. You can do it in your mouth too. But then you just suck on them. Mm. They're like little beans, little nuts. They're Fresh beans. caffeine in the fruit. <laughs> so this is the sprouted coconut. So this sprouted. is what I'm gonna open up. For We're us. gonna eat this. Ah. Oh. Neat, neat. Back of the knife. Ooh. Wow! They call it coconut candy. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> look like look like cheese. Look like cheese. <laughs> Provolone cheese, guys, from coconut. <laughs> it's crisp. Uh oh, uh oh, it's crisp. It's not wow. very sweet. It's like a spongy uh, texture. Yeah. Kind of tastes just like a spongy coconut water. Yeah. But I was like, not much flavor on this one, so. It tasted like the coconut meat, but spongy. Yeah. Coconut oil, I can taste it from it. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's what it is, like coconut oil. It's not coconut so oil. soupy. Yeah. Wow. Look how much juice is in there. Cross between a tangerine and a pomelo. Pomelo. Not, not an orange. Not an orange, okay. <laughs> Tangerine and pomelo. Is it um, man crossed or? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <It's> so juicy. <laughs> this is only three fruits so far. Wow. Um, so my favorite. Hand squeeze to too. Yeah, on the weekends is to mix this with champagne on the beach. Wow. This is on the beach. Can't beat it. All right, try it out, guys. Mm. Thank you. It's just all juice, all juice. And it's very tasty. So if you were imagine trying to peel that wow. it, like an orange, you'd be just completely drenched wow. in it. I worked in restaurants my whole life and then I moved out here for a six month internship on the farm to learn about growing the fruit. Wow. And just never went back, fell in love with it, figured out how things should be grown, how farming should be done. And yeah, it's like, nope. No more nine to fives for me. Do you guys, uh, did you see the Gordon Ramsay episode too where he came out? He's the one I that will inspired be. this tour. Because wow. so many people would call and be like, how do we get the Gordon Ramsay tour? How do we do that? How do we oh. do that? So. This, is, this is an awesome tour. There's no tour like it, you yeah. know? It, it, Just straight up. Like, no tours ever the same. Yeah. I never go to the, the same way to the same trees or anything. So that's what's so cool about it is it's always changing every week. So. Yeah. And if I can, like I really, really will only do maybe two a week just to mm -hmm. limit our exposure of people that we have on the farm so yeah and this is the first one i've done all month so oh that's awesome it's yeah. the first of the month so <laughs> thanks a lot yeah. yeah we are in the chocolate factory right here this is where all chocolate factory starts <laughs> cacao fruits and you'll see some blue ones everywhere that are starting to don't they turn like a little bit pink and stuff too, right? Uh, that would be a different variety. These ones oh. are called the Forestero variety, so that's what they look like in their coloring. The other variety called the Trinitario is the one that looks more like a like a neon peppermint candy cane. So how would you turn this into chocolate? Uh, so this one, from this process, you would take it, the pot itself, the fruit, mm. ferment it for quite a while, and then dry it, and then break it all up, and then mix all your ingredients to make the chocolate. The darker they get, the right? less sweet they are. So this one, we're going to pick off there, you just twist it like we twist. did the coconut, and just keep twisting and twisting and twisting until it pulls off. Um, you never want to rip it because it produces fruit in the same place every time. Oh, really? Yeah, so they'll flower in the same place every time. Every time. <laughs> Flying cacao. I thought the darker it is, the more sweet, huh? The younger uh -huh. it is, the more sweet. The older it is, the more mature it is, so the more it's like lost its sweetness. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so okay, so. Just kind of, like me. <laughs> kind of barbaric, but pretty easy. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's some more that dropped down. Oh. oh. So you literally take a mouthful of that and just suck on the beans. Mmm. It's so sweet. It's not something you can really chew. You can only no. suck on it. You can only suck on it. <laughs> and it's not like it doesn't taste like chocolate, guys. <laughs> it does not taste like chocolate. Which part of it make the chocolate chocolate? The seed or the, the seed itself, the seed. yeah, exactly. So actually okay. we'll go back to the corn so and I'll show you the next two stages. Right <laughs> so that you just it's like red. So they call it the fruit right of the cacao. 
Oh, okay. And then the thing that holds it all together is called the placenta. Placenta. And if you bite into the, the seed, one. they are, are purple on the inside. They're kind purple? of bitter, but you can see it and you can taste it. I can bite it? What, would it stain my teeth? <laughs> nope. They're pretty on the inside. Oh. Now they, they kind of look like chocolate now. Kind of you, the color you, of it. Yeah, you, you kind of toast it up, brown it up a little bit, become chocolate. So you guys know how uh, coffee has caffeine? Yes. And that's what gives you the buzz? Chocolate has something called theobroma, and mm -hmm. that's what gives you a, a chocolate buzz or a chocolate high. So the more you suck on it, the more you eat it, the more you get that theobroma buzz. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's it energy. It still actually will it's make you energy. feel jittery. Like jittery. when we harvest chocolate all day and we're eating it all day long, we're like, like <laughs> buzzing on it because it's so good. So. Yeah. What do you guys call it? Cup. 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 We eat this with. Uh, Again, salt and chili. Raw. It's supposed to be sour and crunchy. He said, um, no one likes them here, so you can pick all of them. <laughs> like, there's actually, uh, we actually peel these and we pickle them. Pickle them in like uh, salt, sugar, um, brine. Yeah. And it comes out to be like salty, sweet. Do are they crunchy still, or do they get soft? Yeah, they they, they they get crunchy still. <laughs> like it's like a pickle, yeah. but uh, a little bit sweet because we add sugar in there too. Uh -huh, nice. So, nice. yep. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. These okay. are the owners right here doing their own little farm tour with their friends That's right awesome. now. So once we leave, they'll probably come in here. That's awesome. Um, so the farm was actually started uh, 51 years ago by both of those, um, yeah. both those elderly people right there, Chuck and Lily. Have had Jack fruit before? Oh, yes. Oh, cool. uh, yeah, we visited Vietnam and stuff, so all these tropical fruits were really... Oh, this oh, is... Mít tô nữ. This is uh, one of those peeled jackfruit off yeah, the skin. Yeah, so literally one. just dig at it, grab oh. a pot. It's the most messy one, so I'm glad that we did it down here close to the sink. Mm. It's sticky, so. Mm. Is it overripe? Or is it perfect? I was gonna test I like it a little bit crunchy. Yeah, I like it a little crunchy too. Yeah, yeah this is this is, this is the little bit like overripe, mm -hmm. but it's still really sweet and like texture wise, like silky. I would give it a five out of 10 for like my jackfruit rating. Is that yeah. like a different type of jackfruit for a crunchy one, right? Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. actually the crunchy one that's mostly um, known for is called a black gold variety. Okay. So it's really green on the outside and it mm -hmm. won't necessarily turn yellow and then they'll be like really crunchy gold yeah. on the inside. So. Yeah. Usually people leave with a couple boxes of fruit, but if you're leaving on Sunday, cool. I'll send you as much as you can eat in a couple days. Right, so. yeah. You can't really take any fruits back, huh? Yeah. Only coconuts and pineapples. Coconut and pineapple. Yeah. And they both have to be declared by USDA at the airport, uh, so. Yeah, going but. through all those. Oh, oh, oh. I like some of these. <laughs> Huge. All big yeah. today, too. Okay. Everything here, uh, organic? Everything so we're no actually pesticides, certified not organic. Done. We're mm -hmm. uh, the largest certified organic farm in the state. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is so sweet. This one is called Santal. Have you ever heard of it? No. Or a wild mango steam. Oh, wild mango steam? Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah. It's mango steam. Very sour. Sour? Yes. We just had sweet mango. That's the wild mango scene. Mmm. <laughs> so this is the white sapote. Um, I don't like to eat the skin because it changes the flavor of the fruit. Yeah. But you can. Just like a pear. Sapote. There's a seed in the middle. We eat mostly just the white flesh if you can. White sapote. Sambote trang. <laughs> Never seen this before. Never seen this. Abio? Abio. Is this Oh, this is like star apple. Yes, it's just... in the same family, yeah. Oh, okay. So you don't really want to eat the skin. You only want to eat the jelly part because yes. the skin will make your lips super sticky. Thank you. And it'll also oxidize in the first 30 seconds of cutting it. Oh, turns color. Look like a clear jelly fruit. This is like, this is like yusu bang. <laughs> yusu bang. 
Mm. Mm. Start apple, maybe a little bit more sweeter than this, right? Oh, definitely the milk. It's like the milk, 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 milk apple, yeah. Milk yeah. apple, the green ones. Or the yeah. purple one. Avocados. Mm. Wow. wow. We eat this uh, normally with condensed milk. Mm. We make a smoothie out of it. Mm. Condensed milk. And so after getting full off of all these fruits, Nick packed us as much fruit as we can eat for the next two days while we are still in Maui. Unfortunately, we cannot take any of these fruits back to the mainland. So if you guys do visit Maui and take this private tour with Nick, be sure to do this first thing while you are here so that you have a lot more time to pack a lot more fruits to enjoy for the rest of your stay. And for more information on Ono Farms, check out the description below to their website. Until next time, peace.